Welcome to Usiversity SharePoint Training. When you work with cache settings at the site collection level and on subsites, you will be applying cache profiles. A cache profile specifies how long rendered content will be held in a cache, whether the content will be trimmed so as to provide different views for users with different credentials, whether or not the profile is enabled, and several other caching behaviors. By default, there are four profiles, and you can create others. Let's look at the default cache profiles now. Site Collection Cache Settings are found from the Site Collection Site Settings page. From the Trains by Dave homepage, click the Navigate Up button in the top bar. Then click Usiversity from the drop down list. On the Usiversity homepage, click Site Actions. Then scroll down and click Site Settings. On the Site Settings page, under Site Collection Administration, click Site Collection Cache Profiles. By default, four profiles are displayed. Disabled, Public Internet, Purely Anonymous, Extranet, Published Site, Intranet, Collaboration Site. Although the page you will be caching is part of the Trains by Dave Intranet, the profile for Extranet published site best describes this scenario. Authoring does not take place on the tier, only major versions of pages are deployed to the tier, and users cannot customize web parts on a page in the tier. The HR Policies Review site will contain only content that users with any access to the Trains by Dave site will view and not edit in any way. They will not be making comments or adding documents. The page will not be updated during the day, so content the first visitor to the site sees will be the same that the 100th user sees. To review the profile settings, select the checkbox to the left of Extranet and then click Edit Item in the list ribbon. The Properties page opens and you see the title and description that appears in the Profiles list. The Access Control Check will create security trimmed caches so that if some users should not have access to a portion of the page, that portion will not be visible to them. Although all the content on the HR Policies Review site can be viewed by all users, leave this checked since the profile might be applied to a site that requires security trimming. You will want caching enabled for sites using this profile, of course. So that checkbox is selected. The page is cached the first time a user requests it and stays cached in memory for the period specified in the duration input box. The duration of 180 seconds means that when a user navigates to the page, that page will remain cached for three minutes. If the page were already cached, it will continue to be cached for another three minutes from the time an additional user visits the site. If the page has changed while it is cached, SharePoint can check for changes each time a user requests a page. Since this page will not be changing during the day, you will leave this checkbox cleared. The remainder of the properties are advanced features that go beyond the scope of this lesson, and so you can leave the defaults in place. And click Save.